Welcome to our devos where this week we have been talking about freedom in Christ, being free in Jesus. And the last point, the last part of this series, this part, is one of the most powerful. And you can't miss this because there are going to be times that you don't feel free, okay? Hear me. You don't feel free. You are recognizing as we're talking through some of these things that you're bumping up against some generational curses, You're recognizing that you have habits that you've ingrained and maybe habits that you've passed along to your children. And it's horrifying. And you're like, I I thought I was free. I thought I was free. One of the things that the enemy is going to want you to do is to doubt that you have freedom. One One of the things that the enemy is going to want you to do is to deny the fact that God still gives you a choice to respond to some of these consequences in a way that honors God. And one of the greatest proofs of your freedom is the idea of what actually happened the moment that you trusted in Christ. We have died to slavery and been made alive to live in freedom. The moment that you accept Christ, I want you to know this. Please hear this. You didn't just add Jesus to your life. No. According to scripture, you were dead in trespasses. You were separated from God. You were not seeking him. You were not following him. So it wasn't just like you added Jesus to a life that was already going well. No. According to the scriptures, Jesus took your dead, sin-addled soul and resurrected it in new life. That's why it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that if any is in Christ, he is a new creation. So it's not just you getting Jesus and still having the cool parts of you. No, it's Jesus giving you a whole new life that is his life. It's Jesus giving you a whole new soul that was bought with his blood. It's Jesus giving you a whole new set of desires and a set of plans that are uniquely tailored by eternity by God himself for you to walk in so that you can glorify him. It's not just you getting forgiven and made free. It's you becoming completely new altogether. In Romans chapter 7, verse 4, it says, Likewise, my brothers, you also have died to the law through the body of Christ. When we accept Christ, we are being crucified with him. It says, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead in order that we may bear fruit for God. We were made free so that our lives can bear the fruit of the one who's called us. We were made free by God so that our lives can reflect his holy calling on our lives so that when people see that you are doing well, so that people see that you overcome, so that when people see that when things go wrong, that your perspective stays faithful and that you remain immovable, they see that you're bearing fruit for God and they recognize that not only are you behaving differently, but you are a completely different person and you are because the old you has died and the new you has been risen to freedom. Don't let the enemy deceive you into believing that you just need more and more of Jesus so that you could be free. No, no, no. You already have access to that freedom. We talked about this. Jesus already died. No. What you don't need is more of Jesus' work. What you need is to give more of yourself over to him. The work has been finished. Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. Your eternity is made sure by the sealing and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And when we factor all that in together, it gives us the ability to say, I am free in Christ. I do stand firm in that freedom. I abide in his truth. And in that truth, I am free. So walk like it, talk like it, shout it from the rooftops, sing it to everyone who will hear that you are no longer who you were. That despite what your parents and your family have done that have caused these generational consequences to come upon you, that you can make a new legacy. You can make a new way because God has paved it for you with his very nail-scarred hands. You're free in Christ. You're free in Christ. And because of the Son, you are free indeed.